Hi everyone, welcome back to Rachel's Dingle Hopper channel. My name is Rachel and I collect all things Disney. I've just come back from an amazing two week holiday in Florida, Walt Disney World. And yeah, it's just an amazing place. I went for the first time in my life last year in 2022 and I loved it so much I knew I had to go this year as well. So um, yeah, absolute blast, had the time of my life absolutely amazing and i can't wait to get back again i don't think i'll be able to go next year because i have hong kong disneyland planned um that's a new one for me and i've got the d23 expo in california to look forward to hopefully we don't know <laughs> yet but hong kong is definitely happening flights booked and everything um the expo we don't know um so Probably the year after next I'll be able to go back to Florida, which is a bummer. So went all out this trip. I had so much fun. Um, if you have any questions about any of my Disney trips, leave a comment below or message me at Rachel's underscore Dingle Hopper at, on Instagram. I'm on there. So let's just get started with the haul, shall we? I've got it all laid out. I didn't. I don't think I went as big as last year because last year was my first ever time and I did D23 Expo and my first trip to Walt Disney World for, um, on the same trip, so it was a big one. But this trip, I, I was just enjoying myself, um, enjoy the parks, really. I went to Universal one day. Um, I want to do more than one day um, next trip as well, but it's just so expensive. Um, and I did uh, somewhere I wanted to do last year, but I didn't get a chance to, which was Discovery Cove. So it's just this amazing kind of um, relaxing water park, really. It's not really a water park, but it's like a sea life adventure. You can go snorkeling, um, you can swim with a dolphin. That was what I did. There's so many things you can do there. It's just really relaxing and it's like an all-inclusive resort. Um, so you get like the meals included included drinks wine beer all that stuff and um i'll just start with off with this one which is a basically a haul because i got to swim with a dolphin and the photo package was on top of my um like dolphin swim and the day resort package so it was about a hundred dollars um to get four photos printed that was just for the photos. If you wanted like a digital download, it was obviously more. But just because um, for this experience, my friend didn't do the dolphin swim, just me. Um, so for a solo, I just got them for printed. But I'll just show you how good they turned out. So this is Rose the dolphin. She was um, absolutely amazing. Got to spend a bit of time with her. Got to swim a little bit amazing the photos quality um turned out great there was like a photographer taking photos for our group that was really cool um that was completely on stage because the photographer just let me come forward a bit and just say do whatever you want rose will do what she does and i didn't know that was going to happen so that was a really cool moment <laughs> and a little kiss on the cheek so that was my haul from discovery cove didn't buy anything else everything was just included there was like a gift shop with like spirit jerseys and lots of like um like swim gear as well but i didn't buy anything there it was just a really relaxing day uh let's get on to the disney haul so let's start with mickey's not so scary so this year was my first ever Halloween party at Disney World that I did because last year I went around the same time. My friends all went, but um, for um, I know I'm in the minority, but I don't really like Halloween. <laughs> I'm more of a Christmas girl. I think I was a little bit traumatized as a kid with all like the costumes and trick or treating. I didn't really like it. I never liked Halloween, but um, my friends all went last year. 
and I had a little bit of a regret <laughs> that I didn't go because like how much fun they had at the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. So this year I splurged and went to one. I went on the 4th of September. It was really nice. No rain. Um, I mainly, I spent the day at Magic Kingdom and just stayed until midnight. And um, during the day before the party, I did um, focused on the rides and then um, at the actual party we focused on the characters, the rare characters you can't meet. So um, I think that one and that one were like the signed, pre-signed little printed cards that we got for the characters. So I got to meet Jack and Sally. I'll include a photo here of me. So Jack and Sally is the big one where the queues get really long, like three, four hours. So if it was like that, we would have given up. But we tried our luck. Um, we were already inside the park. If you haven't been to a party before, you get your wristband for the party at, um, from 4. You can get in from 4, but the actual party is from 7pm to 11pm. But you can get in from 4. So at four o'clock, Jack and Sally are the only ones who start their um, meet and greet um, at like four thirty, I think it is, way before the party starts. And then the Seven Dwarfs, um, they're like a returning character spot, and they started around six thirty. So we got our wristbands um, at four inside the park, and briskly walked to Jack and Sally, and we were out by five thirty. I think that's a win. Uh, that was only so we got there just before four, and then an uh, hour and a half. And considering they start meeting at four thirty, it only took us an hour from when they start. That apparently is a win. <laughs> Not waiting like three four hours for them. So I got to meet Jack and Sally. Um, I went, I went straight to the doors. They were so cute. Oh my goodness! My photo will be here. Um, so that was really cute and then that's a little pamphlet if you have any more questions um, for Mickey's Not So Scary then I will um, I will answer them below in the comments I just realized there's another t-shirt that I bought during the party but I actually haven't got it here so I'll quickly get that and show you I am back um, just wanted to show you this t-shirt I got from the Halloween party. I've already worn it, um, so it's a little bit creased. Apologies for that. Um, but this is the t-shirt I got from Mickey's Not So Scary 2023. The back is really cute. It's got Mickey as a little vampire and it says 2023 Magic Kingdom on the back. I think it was $34.99. And I've got a little Mickey's Not So Scary logo on there I just thought it was really cute I, don't want, I knew I wanted some kind of exclusive merchandise from the party and this is the little pin I got not so scary Halloween party and it says 2023 right on the top so really cute um, for the party we focused on the characters um, so we got to do Jack and Sally and then we went to Seven Dwarfs which are the returning characters um, so we did that they were really cute and then Ariel is obviously my favorite princess so we did Ariel and Eric they were like the main reason I went for the party this year because I regretted not going last year I didn't know they were out as characters um, and then we did we met Stitch in Tomorrowland, uh, dressed as Elvis, he was really cute. Um, we met Belle, I saw Halloween Mickey, he was only a five minute wait. And then we did the fireworks show, the stage show at midnight, that's the last thing we did. And the second parade for the Booty You parade, I've, like, literally, that's the best parade I've ever seen. Booty You was so fun. So, I think... That was it for the party merchandise. Sorry, I had to stop it for a bit because I couldn't remember if I had already shown you the trick-or-treating candy, and I hadn't. So, um, this bag we got given at the start of the party, and there's different trick-or-treat spots. 
um, until the end of the party where you can get lots of candy. I've already had some but it was literally nearly full and there was just so much. Trick or treating wasn't even our priority and we got this much so it was really cool. It says let's boo this, Mickey's not so scary party, Halloween party. It says Walt Disney World on the side and it's got a lovely pumpkin, happy Halloween on the back. It's just really cute and yeah some of it melted but we put it straight in the fridge um at the resort but still they're still like edible we haven't thrown anything away and i was really excited to get lots of different flavored m m's oh caramel cold brew caramel cold brew m m's fudge brownie m m's so they're the ones that i've been really enjoying um so that was it for the halloween party let us move on so a few little more signed cards so we did a character um meal at topolina's terrace we had one night at the riviera resort which was always one of the dream resorts i wanted to stay at and got a really good offer so um we had one night there at breakfast we went to topolino's and that's a little signed card we got and these are my pictures with the characters i think it's one of the best um character meals i've been to the character interactions were absolutely amazing we went to be our guest at magic kingdom we went last year as well we loved it so much so we went again so that was it oh so we went to cinderella's raw table as well um this is my picture with the princesses I can't, I don't know where I put my wishing star and my wand, but you did get that. Um, sorry about that. So I'm just going to go one by one with my the rest of my haul. So I think that I got this one on my last day. It's the Starbucks tumbler. I'd never seen it before, so I decided to get it. But it's got so many icons. You can see like the Tree of Life on there. It's got so many icons from the different four parks. So it's Walt Disney World on there. And at first I was going to get a park specific Starbucks tumbler. I didn't know which park to get. It was probably going to be Magic Kingdom or Hollywood Studios. But um, I found this one on my last day with all four parks on it. So I decided to get this one. It's like a really cute pearl iridescent colour. It's a Starbucks on there. Basically um tap that up and you drink from there for hot drinks and it's just really cute i found new love for hollywood studios this trip um last year i had um my favorites were magic kingdom and epcot i think this trip was going to is going to be magic kingdom and hollywood studios most of it is because i love the nighttime fireworks shows and phantasmic is back last year we didn't have phantasmic for hollywood studios i think that was the main draw um next my favourite ride at Disney World is going to be Cosmic Rewind, the Guardians of Galaxy. Got Rocket and Groot and the Cosmic Rewind um, ride car. I think it was $12.99 for it. I knew I had to get this. I haven't actually tried it. I, th I saw it kind of, there's like a little button and it goes round basically. I haven't actually, actually done it yet, but I got this little toy. I, I'm going to use that as decoration just to have it as like a memory of my favourite ride but I love Rocket and Groot just sitting in that car I absolutely adore that ride so much um, if you haven't been on it why haven't you been on it <laughs> if you've been to Disney World <laughs> but it's in a ride in Epcot and um, you can there's no standby line you can only um, go on it with a virtual queue um, so you get one free ride and if you want to ride it a second time you need to pay for it I think I paid for it twice this trip so in total I went on it five times and um, you can get six one of six random songs and i still haven't got conga that's the only one i haven't got yet so hopefully soon next trip i finally get conga a few like freebies but they're celebration badges 
Um, so I've got a friend who works at Epcot. So it was like a little reunion. So we did like a little reunited badge. That was from my last day. It says I'm celebrating my last day. And it wasn't my first visit to Disney World. But I got a first visit badge because it was my first visit to um, the Riviera Resort. And I got one just because it was my first visit in 2023. I know, cheeky. Um, food and Wine Festival little program. I got for Epcot. Um, I enjoyed a lot of it this year. Got um, last year. I got two of these. So I did the fromage montage, where you get a freebie if you try six, di uh, five different cheese dishes on their menu. Um, literally, I'm not going to do a full on like thing on the food and wine just because I didn't vlog anything this trip, but. There's something you can do when you're at Epcot. Um, ba -ba -bam. Speaking of Epcot, this was something I really wanted to do and it wasn't available last year, but it's come back. In the Japan Pavilion, there's an experience where you can pick a pearl um, from one of the oysters in the uh, Japan P Pavilion store. Picture here of what happens basically you get um you get a ticket for i think twenty dollars you get to have like a whole experience um where the cast member helps you pick one of the oysters you get a pearl that was my one so sometimes you get lucky and get like a pink pearl or a really big pearl i think i've got an average white pearl about seven millimeters she said then that's um average but you're i think you're guaranteed to get a pearl um if you choose one of the oysters you don't know which one so the picking the pearl experience that was twenty dollars and you can choose to have it set in like a necklace they've got different kinds of jewelry um i didn't get a jewelry this time just because the one i wanted was like fifty dollars and i was a bit out of my budget so next trip if i go i'll definitely get one of the setting necklaces but I just did it in the sand bottle, which was an extra six dollars. So that was cool. I'll keep that. My first ever pearl. I've never had any pearl jewelry before. Da, 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 da. Ornaments. So this one is a sketchbook ornament. I haven't seen it every anywhere else other than the parks at Disney Springs in Florida. Um, I'm based in the UK so I haven't seen this in the UK before um, but it's the little ride location for the Little Mermaid you can see the castle Eric's castle and behind you've got under the sea Ariel on it so this was an ornament I wished I got last year but I didn't get to so got it this trip it's for the attraction really for the ride under the sea. One of my faves, obviously. Another ornament I got. This is Savan one. It's like a snow globe. This was available last year during Christmas. Um, because uh, there was Anna, Elsa, Olaf and Sven. I've got the Anna one here actually. I got it on sale on Shop Disney in the UK. But I wanted to collect all four, but by the time I decided to collect all four, Sven was sold out over here. So I never managed to get him and he was the one I really wanted. But I found it in one of the Christmas shops at Magic Kingdom, so definitely got him. I think he was around $22, something like that. Uh, da, 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 da. Just a little coaster from Galaxy's Edge. I went to Ogre's and had a drink and that was one of the coasters. Such a cool place. Little lanyard and map of Discovery Cove. That's where I did this uh, Dolphin Swim adventure and the ticket. So you can, there's like a lazy river, you can go snorkeling. Um, obviously I said all the food and drinks are included. It was just a really, really nice relaxing day if you ever get a chance to do it. Da, 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 da. Magic Kingdom. 
got a little sipper, orange bird sipper from Sunshine Tree Terrace where you get the Dole Whip. Um, you can buy just the sipper or you can get a Dole Whip float as well. I've got the Dole Whip float as well just because I was so hot and thirsty. You open the lid and you can put your drink in there. It's just a really cute sipper just because I'm in Florida. Got the sipper. He's so cute. There we go. Another freebie I got from uh, Epcot from the Fromage Montage. Uh, you get like a free dessert and it was like a strawberry cheesecake. Exactly the same as last year. So um, I enjoyed that one. So these refillable mugs from the resorts if you're staying on property in one of the resorts and you're staying there um like length of stay i highly recommend one of these refillable mugs they are not refillable for drinks in the past but any of the resorts you can so even when i was at magic kingdom i would um we would like walk to the contemporary for a little break um resort and you can use it at any of the disney resorts um i, I was called carrying around everywhere so you can see how like scratched it is already I used it for two weeks straight so that was really worth it it was $21.99 for two weeks magic band I already had a magic band so if you haven't been to Florida this is what basically links to your tickets your resort reservation your payment card anything you can do it or use your hotel room key everything is linked to one of these magic bands and it's not necessary um but it's just a really pretty option that um, makes it easier for you so i already had a magic band from last year this is a magic band plus um and i was going to use that one but then i saw a little mermaid version available you can get a bit of a discount if you um are staying at one of the resorts and you pre buy and um, purchase it online so yeah i decided to splurge on a new one but just because it's aerial it's got a lovely shellfish on it aerial flounder and sebastian super cute and i just really like the color and the graphics on it really so I decided to get a new one now. I've got two magic bands. Hopefully next trip I don't buy any more. I'll show you some of the pins I got. Uh, da, 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 da. Right. We also had a night at Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom Lodge is one of the resorts on property. And uh, we had a savannah view. So we got to see the animals from outside our window. So here's a little clip. It was really cool. Um, uh, I I think I shot a little video of my stay, like of the room and the Savannah view, when I first checked in. So I'll upload that at some point. But I got this pin just to um, as a souvenir for staying there, Jumbo House. We really stayed that Jumbo pin. Got Anna and Elsa and Queen Iduna thought that was really cute so I got that I think I got it at Hollywood Studios this is the one of the family pins where you get all the sidekicks all in one pin and this is Rapunzel's I've been collecting a few of these series but I knew I hadn't got this one so I got this one that was really cute sorry I don't know the prices Oh, this one was $17.99. $17.99. This one also was $17.99. It's the Food and Wine Festival for Epcot pin. And it's got the Encanto family. I know there's a little red glare from my camera. I tried to avoid that, but it's the Encanto Magica family for the Food and Wine Festival. It's really cool. Uh, da, 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 da. got a few of these D100 pins they are also available in the UK and as well Shop Disney but um, I hadn't got these so I got these I got Elsa 
I love how the like silver there and just a splash of colour. And we've got Tinkerbell. Super cute. Next pin we've got the D one hundred Music of Wonder pin. So many characters I love on there. You can see hopefully you can see I know the red glare and the light reflection is really annoying. But there we go. I also have a hoodie from this collection because it's uh, it was available on Shop Disney UK. So it's basically the same graphic. And this is what I've got at Universal as well. I love Hello Kitty. And I'd never been on the E.T. ride. Um, last year we were rained off so we didn't get to do many rides. Um, so this was yeah was the first time I got on it. So I've just got a little souvenir for that. It's a little snow globe as well. It's got Hello Kitty and E.T. on the little bike. You cute. Um, when I was out there the D20, Destination D23 um, like convention was going on I didn't manage to get the tickets for the convention basically but I am a D23 gold member and um, there was a shopping spree day that we could go into so I managed to go to that this is what I got uh, got a little pin it says D23 gold member on it yeah it was just a really cute surprise my friend told me that it was happening whilst I'm there, so I was like, why not? Let's go. So this is limited edition of 2023, which is really cute. Got Mickey and D23 gold member on it. Sorry, 2300 limited edition. So that was D23 exclusive. Got a few other stuff from the event. To get a lounge fly, I was so doing so well not to get any lounge flies this trip, but this this one I had to. So it's the Destination Twenty Three D Twenty Three, the event I went to. It's the exclusive for that event shopping spree, and it's got a sorcerer Mickey on it, and I loved it because it is my first Walt Disney Imagineering lounge fly. How exciting is that? We've also got a normal lounge fly plaque, but an Imagineering lounge fly is just really exciting. And the pattern was really cute as well. So that's my one lounge fly purchase from this trip. I got it at the Destination um, 23 event in Florida at the Contemporary Resort, and it was $70. Mm, so exciting! Next, it's also a D23 event exclusive. Sorry about the noise outside, I think they're doing some works. But look, this lovely spirit jersey, it's really sparkly everywhere, and it's got D23 on it. And there was 23% off as well. So I think normally it was like 70 something, but I got it for like 50 something. Cannot remember the exact price of it. Um, yeah, it was $70, but I got it for 50 something. But I used my UK card and I know exactly how much it cost, and it was about 37 something, 37, 38 pounds which is I think a bargain for something this exclusive I loved how it's got gold member because I am a gold member it's a D23 exclusive it's just so sparkly and it's got different icons on it you can see like the lamp, the Millennium Falcon, what else is there? Got the Coco Batar, Sorcerer Mickey hat. Is there something on the other side? Da, 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 da. Got teacups, Pixar ball, Snow White, 
I've poison apple, got a Thor's hammer, got everything on there. That's pretty amazing. So all the icons of the different franchises. So that was that. So one lounge fly, one spirit jersey. They were the big purchases this trip. Another big purchase kind of. This raincoat, I was, I was seeing it at the parks and it was just so cute. I decided to get it at Disney Springs, but it's got a little mini mouse with balloons on it. And I think it was like $56, something like that. I remember that I'm also wearing one of my purchases as well. So before I forget, I'll take that off and show it to you next. Oh yeah. It's a really cute, cute raincoat and it's like a lavender pastel purple colour. It's just really cute and I had my eye on it and I knew I was going to regret it if I didn't get it this trip um, after seeing it so many places. So I decided to get that. Um, it's a size large and I'm a UK size 16 if that um, helps at all. So, super cute. And it rains a lot in the in England anyway, so that's why it's always helpful. I was wearing these. <laughs> I've been wearing them ever since I've got back. So these are Peter Pan Crocs. It's my first ever pair of Crocs I've got. Super cute. It's got Peter Pan, Wendy, Tinkerbell, Michael and John flying over. And I've been wearing them at home. Um, it says M4W6. If that makes any sense, I wasn't too sure about the sizing in the um in my US sizing, but I'm a size five in the UK. If that helps at all, um. But literally, I walked, tried them on in store and got the one that fit best. But it's, they're just so cute. I had to. I've never owned any Crocs before. I had to. I think they were about sixty dollars these ones and I've just been wearing them at home and they are so comfortable and now I know why my friends rave about crocs all the time super duper comfortable this is a little bag that we got given at D23 destination 23 shopping spree there were a few other freebies that we got but I don't know if I have it right here oh yes I do so I'll show you these as well. This is also from the D23 event, Destination 23 event I went to. We got given a free little patch that says D23 with Dumbo. I love the um, color, color coding on there. Event exclusive. So this was literally given to us for free. Super cute, it's a little patch. I don't know what this is, I think. There must be some kind of postcard, but um, it's got like a Chip and Dale. They are the Lug Bags, L-U-G. I think they were the sponsors for this event. It's just got Canada. I saw the bags and they were like marketing it at the event. I didn't get any, but they looked really cute. I think they're postcards. And we also got a free pin. It's Orange Bird. It's limited release orange bird and it says destination 23 presented by luck cute so there were the freebies at the event just a few more to go the disney resorts still have the h2o products so i got some of them um i got a few new emos the strip so i've been collecting these i've been using them in the parks as well and there were a few that i hadn't got because they hadn't come to the uk yet or i just didn't have in general um so i got this alice one i knew she was out in the asian parks but uh, the uk never got her i think she was one of the first ones that were released and i was super bummed that um we weren't able to get her in the UK, but she was available over there, so I got her. Thankfully, I think they were twenty one ninety nine each. 
basically they're little plushies and they hold hands because they've got magnetic um, hands and they're really super poseable and you can get different costumes for them as well da -da -da. so I've got Alice got White Rabbit he was also one of the first ones that released in Asia but we never got him so just in case he never comes we've got him got White Rabbit uh, got Santa Jack they were all the same price $21.99 he's just really cute <laughs> I must say it's not one of my favourite um, films, maybe just because I don't like Halloween that much, but um, he's just super cute in his Santa costume. I am definitely a Christmas girl, so there's Jack. And then I've got Edna Mode. I think she's already available in the UK, but she's one of the new releases. And her glasses also come off as well. I'll keep them on for now, but I think the glasses had a really cute detail. So, they were the new emos I got. My video has suddenly gone really dark. Hmm. This little Disney key card, just because um, they can put your room key on a card instead of your magic band and I just wanted one of the cards because last year I had one of the 50th anniversary one but I wanted the one of the um, normal ones so here it is, I've got Mickey hey, from Galaxy's Edge I got a coke <laughs> but it's shaped like one of the droids and it's got like the Star Wars writing on it for Diet Coke. Last year I got a normal Coke, this year I got a Coke. Next year, uh, next time I go I'll get a Sprite. I think there's three different uh, versions and there's like a Dasani water as well. It's just such a cute souvenir for six dollars. You get a Coke bottle that's shaped like a droid and it's like from Galaxy's Edge so it just makes it extra special. And this isn't mine, it's for a friend, but she wanted these earrings, Star Wars earrings. I'm sure she won't mind me showing you a little bit, but if I can get it out, I think they were $26.99. They're really cute, I love some dangling earrings. I know my video has gone dark a little bit, but these were for my friend. Little present. Next. Uh, these aren't mine either, but my friend wanted some lollipops from Disney World, so just got some from the confectionery on Main Street. These are mine. Rice Krispie Treats. I love these. I like the fresh ones, but I knew I wanted to bring some home. Might have one today, actually. Um, so they're just like Rice Krispie Mickey shaped treats and in chocolate. I've already devoured one, so I've only got three left. And I think that is it. And this is also a present for a little kid that I know. It's just a princess. Pen. I think it was $7.99 and I also got a few of these pressed pennies I know it's going to be super hard to show these some pressed pennies from Magic Kingdom I got eight for five dollars with different characters is that Louis? It's, oh, sorry, it's Tigger. It's Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. But there's different characters on these press pennies. Um, these aren't mine either. They're a present for a friend. So I think that's it for this year's haul. I didn't do too badly, did I? I guess like with like the spirit jersey, the lounge fly, the raincoat, obviously the Crocs. I had a few big purchases, but for the little itty bitty ones. I think I did quite well for two weeks, considering it's me. 
so I hope you enjoyed that haul. I know I haven't updated my Japan ones yet. Uh, literally, I don't know when I'm going to be able to edit all of this, but I'll try to edit this one today so I can get it straight up and then I'll work slowly on the Japan ones as well. For Florida, I didn't vlog anything except at Animal Kingdom Lodge when I just checked in and probably Riviera Resort when I just checked in as well. I just had fun. So I hope you all have a magical day. I hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know in the comments what item was your favourite from this trip. And if you're um, planning on any Disney trips, let me know. I love being at the parks and listening to everyone's stories and the planning and answering any questions you have. Um, the only parks that I haven't done now is... Hong Kong which I've already confirmed I'm going in January and I'm planning that so any tips for Hong Kong Disneyland let me know and the only one I will have left is Shanghai that is going to be one big trip I don't know when that's going to happen but someday so um, I think that's it for this video hope you all have a magical day and I'll see you next time in another Disney video bye Sorry, I know this video already ended, but I found something else that I bought and I didn't show you. So here it is quickly. It's a full town t-shirt. Nobody like you. There was another full town t-shirt that I really wanted, but it was only available in kids sizes. So I just got the sky blue one instead and it's got full town on there. The super kids. That's just really exciting to have something full town. So, sorry, that's the real end of the video. Bye.